No one wakes up in the morning planning to be a hero, certainly none of the people on stage, for the Red Cross Real Heroes Breakfast. But that's what brought more than a dozen Central New Yorkers together, to be honored by the community. It's really, for me, it's about gratitude. It's about giving thanks for what mankind is willing to do for one another. And I think the running theme in all of these stories is that people put others in front of themselves. Among them, Syracuse University professors Dennis Kinsey and David Coriel. I don't think that either Dennis or I will ever forget what we saw when we came upon that car and saw how bad the uh, injuries could possibly be. Dennis and David were riding their motorcycles near Ithaca, New York, when they came across a car crash. The pair were among the first to arrive on the scene and rush to aid the badly injured crash victims. It was a terrible accident, and uh, I, I actually had never even really talked about it before. In fact, I had to tell my children just recently when I knew I was getting the award, so I hadn't told them at all. I'm very grateful for them uh, making this, um, you know, this recognition, but I think like many people I didn't feel that what we did was as heroic as simply the right thing to do at the right time. Also honored, DPS Senior Detective Ed Weber, who administered first aid to patrol senior specialist Stan Prue after the pair were struck by lightning on South Campus. This is something it hit me personally uh, and twofold, one with Stan Prue and one that I'm still here also. You know, like I said before, uh, if it wasn't for Stan uh, taking the direct hit, I don't think I would have survived the direct hit. You know, Syracuse University is known for doing a lot of great work in this community, uh, but we think of it as an institution, and I was excited today to get to know some of the actual people who are at Syracuse University and finding out just how heroic they are. But perhaps it was Ed Weber who put it best, while humbled by the honor bestowed on him and others. And it makes you realize after things happen that uh, what life really is. Keith Copeland, SU News.